Do you struggle to maintain a consistent angle when sharpening a knife? If that's the case, stick around because in this video, I'm going to show you five techniques that will help you to stay consistent every single time. Let's go. Hello and thanks for joining me today off the stone here. Just wanted to give a shout out to my subscribers. I appreciate all your support, appreciate your likes, all your comments. And if you've shared these videos, thank you so much. And because of all your support, I wanted to make some content that could be very relevant for you. So I'm gonna start a new series where I'm gonna do 30 different videos of different techniques of sharpening. So each individual video is gonna go over one specific element and in this video, I'm focusing specifically on knife angle. The angle on the knife is one of the most important things that you can focus on. And because consistency is key in sharpening, if you don't get this right, you're gonna really struggle to get a sharp knife. So I'm gonna go over five techniques in this video to help you to maintain a consistent angle while sharpening a knife. Technique number one. This is the Sharpie trick or the marker trick. I find this to be one of the most important techniques to help you to see what angle you're sharpening at. So the concept is I take a marker and in this case, I don't have a Sharpie. I just have this Crayola marker, but this will work for the video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this marker. I'm going to color all down the knife edge or the secondary bevel of this knife on each side. And then when I'm sharpening on a stone, I'm going to see what angle I'm sharpening at, depending on what the marker looks like after I'm done sharpening. To illustrate this, I'm going to change the camera angle for you so I can show you this. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this marker and I'm just going to draw on the edge of this knife. And make sure I just completely cover the secondary bevel. Now let's say you are using a Sharpie and you've kind of marked up the knife where you don't want to. Don't worry because you can just use nail polish remover and it will take that off of the knife for you. In my case, I can just wash this right off, being this is not a Sharpie. So as you can see, at least if my camera focuses, I will have a green line on my knife edge or my secondary bevel. Now what I'm going to do is run the knife across the stone at what I think the angle is and we'll see how I'm actually hitting the angle when I do this. Now for any beginner I just want to emphasize that if you're going to try this trick just try to take the marker off the bevel that's already on the knife for more advanced users, you can actually manipulate this trick to be able to make the angle more shallow or steep. But if you're a beginner, just try and take off the marker that's on the initial factory edge. All right, so here we go. I'm just going to run this a couple times. We'll see how we're doing here. All right, so let's look at what I did here. Looks like I pretty much took off pretty evenly the marker. Now this is just extra marker right there that I kind of got on the shoulder of the blade. But in this case, I was pretty, I was pretty much right on with the angle. Now when there is still marker on the knife edge, it's going to be at the tip or closer to the apex or farther up the knife, closer to the shoulder of the blade. Above the knife angle or the secondary bevel, this cutting edge, above that's called the shoulder. If you start grinding away up there, that means the knife's too shallow. Let me show you on the stone. If your knife's more steep, you're gonna hit more of the tip of the knife edge. 
But if it's really shallow, like you're barely picking that thing up and you're grinding on this, you're going to start grinding above the knife angle into the shoulder of the blade. Now, that isn't a terrible thing per se if you know what you're doing and if you want to keep that knife angle, if you want it super shallow and you can mimic that on the other side. But let's say you're just trying to hit the exact factory edge that was put on this knife. Well, if you put the Sharpie on there and you grind across that stone and the Sharpie is completely off the whole cutting edge that's on there, then you've done it right. But let's say I think this is the knife angle and I start grinding on this and towards the, the tip of this knife edge, I see grind marks, but there's still marker above that on the knife edge. So you'd have like two-tone color if this was the knife edge. And here's the absolute bottom of it, or the apex. And there's steel removed right here, but further up on the knife edge, there's marker. That means your angle was too steep. And I'll show you why that is. Let's say this is your stone, and this is your knife angle, or this is your knife edge. If your angle is extremely steep, less of the knife edge is going to touch the stone. So if, if this is the case where your marker is still on the knife edge towards the top, then if you lay back that knife, more of the knife edge is going to touch the stone. To reiterate, if you have a very steep knife, if you have a very steep angle, less of the knife edge is going to touch the stone. But if you lay it back, more of the knife edge is going to touch the stone. So leading into the second technique. This is what I like to call the edge size trick. Depending on how thick or the size of your edge is, you can really see how evenly you're sharpening. So if this was your knife edge, let's say this was the right side of your knife edge and this is the left side. So one side's on this side and then you flip it over and this is the other. If this was your knife edge with these, these two pictures here, these beautiful, gorgeous drawn pictures, if one side of your knife edge is, has lines like that where it's not a super thick and the other one's super thick, then you know your angle's off because one side has a lot of real estate and the other side doesn't. So that's one other way you can actually see how evenly you're sharpening on each side of the knife edge is checking the thickness of that edge. Try and match these so they're the exact same. Now the third trick is the knife sliding trick. At least that's what I call it. In this trick, what you can do is lay the knife flat on the stone and then slightly increase the angle or steepen the edge and start sliding the knife as you do that. When the knife stops, you can just back off just a little bit, and that will generally be pretty close to the angle. What I like about this trick is it's a fairly simple and easy way to find the factory edge, and if you combine this trick with the Sharpie trick or the marker trick, then you can have some pretty effective results very quickly. So what you can do is just start with this trick, or start with the Sharpie, put the Sharpie on there, and then slide your knife down the stone, steepening it as you go until it stops. Back it off a little bit, use that angle, and then see how it looks on the edge of the knife. And if you removed all the Sharpie, then you have the right angle. Then you can do the same thing going the opposite direction. Start with the knife down, pull it up a little bit, slide it across the stone, steepen it until it stops, back it off a little bit, use that angle, and then check and see if the Sharpie is fully taken off the knife edge. And if it is, you've hit the factory edge. Knife sharpening technique four. I call this the technique of halves. So let's say you have your knife straight like this forward towards you. If you can figure out a 45 degree angle and then do, do another half of a 45 degree angle, you're going to have approximately 22.5 degrees. Now, many knives are around 17 to 20 degrees. So let's put our stone here. 
and I'll try 45 degrees and then another half of 45 degrees. If you can guesstimate about that and maybe back the angle off a little bit even from there, you're gonna get pretty close to the, the actual angle that the knife has. And you can always use your Sharpie to make sure it is correct. What's kind of funny is the Sharpie was the first technique I showed you, but everything will come back to the Sharpie. This is a very important thing to do when you're beginning. If you can't really feel the knife angle when you're on the stone, and there are times even when I think I have the right angle and if I use a Sharpie, sometimes I'm off, obviously. But I'd highly recommend that you always use a Sharpie, especially when beginning to sharpen, because this is gonna help you to really keep that factory edge if that's what you're looking for. So this is tip number five. I just call this the knife edge gap technique. And essentially what it is, is if you're look, like you're looking down the camera right now, if that's how you're looking down the stone, what you're gonna wanna do is touch that knife edge and steepen the knife until you see no gap between the knife edge and the stone. If you see any gap in between there, the angle is not steep enough. So you just gotta steepen it until there's no gap. And if you see no gap in there, then you know you've got the right angle and then just slide the knife across the stone. That can be a very useful beginner tip as well, kind of like the knife sliding trick. These are kind of faster ways to be able to get you started because it can be very hard and intimidating when you're first starting to sharpen a knife. But if you use the trick where you slide it and slide it and slide it until it stops, back it off a little and try that. Or if you can just look at the stone and the knife edge and you see no gap, try that. See how the Sharpie looks. Make sure you interpret it correctly and then just adjust accordingly. Well, I hope these five techniques help you in keeping a consistent angle when sharpening, because if you can keep a consistent angle while sharpening, that is most of the battle. The battle of sharpening is consistency. But I appreciate you watching this video. Stay tuned because I have a lot more videos coming in this series. We'll see you in the next one.